Former President Donald Trump has 10 days to surrender to authorities in Georgia, where he was indicted yesterday. The allegations against the 2024 GOP frontrunner and more than a dozen others relate to their alleged efforts to fraudulently reverse Trump's 2020 election loss to Joe Biden in Georgia. Our Washington Bureau Chief Alex Cameron is following the developments. Well, this is the second indictment tied to the actions Mr. Trump allegedly took to try and unlawfully hold on to the presidency. The case brought two weeks ago by special counsel Jack Smith here in Washington. And this latest case brought by the Fulton County DA, ultimately because of one particular phone call. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes which is one more that we have. That January 2nd, 2021 call between Trump and Georgia's Secretary of State got the attention of Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis, whose resulting two-and-a-half-year investigation culminated last night with a grand jury handing up a nearly 100-page indictment of the former president and his allies. The defendants engaged in a criminal racketeering enterprise to overturn Georgia's presidential election result. 18 others are charged along with Trump, who faces 13 counts, including violating Georgia's racketeering and corruption law, soliciting a public official to violate his oath of office, making false statements and writings, along with several conspiracy charges. Georgia's Republican ex-lieutenant governor was among those who testified before the grand jury. My hope is that Americans believe us. My hope is that Republicans believe us. Donald Trump has said all along he did nothing wrong and called this latest indictment a politically motivated witch hunt. Oklahoma 2nd District Congressman Josh Burkeen agrees. It is clear to anyone who's paying attention, he said on social media, that these indictments are a politically calculated distraction and an attempt by Democrats to interfere in the 2024 election. And so far, there have been no statements from any other members of the delegation on this indictment. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.